So in this video, we're going to talk about what does Kundalini energy feel like? And first of all, I will say it's totally different for everyone and it's going to be totally different based on how mature this energy is in your body. So the first kind of stages of what it might feel like is that it may feel like you have some pressure on your tailbone area. Like maybe five or six years ago when I first started doing Kundalini, I was just showing up for a class every now and again. I would sit up after finishing class and I would have all of this pain in my tailbone. It reminded me of when I was a child and playing on the playground and you would, I went down those like fireman poles you know, they have those and both, I've done it two times as a child where I did that and I didn't catch myself on my feet. So I slid down this big pole and then fell on my tailbone and I had all of this pain. And actually it was a very similar feeling to when my Kundalini first started to move was all of this pressure in the lower sacrum area. So that's kind of one first feeling that you can get. Um, the after that, maybe sometimes you're starting to feel maybe a washing machine feeling in your body. So maybe once the energy has started to open up a little bit, then you're starting to get it to rise more. And for a lot of people, the energy will start to get blocked right here in the diaphragm area first. So sometimes it can feel a little bit like a washing machine type of feeling. Like you can even hear it as well. There'd be like mm -mm -mm type of sounds. Like that's because there's this energy trying to move that it can only come up this far. And then sometimes once you started to work with it a little bit more, then sometimes there's this spinal flip that'll start to happen. It's, this is like the most common, I think, uh, physical, physical um, representation of the Kundalini energy, but your spine will kind of flip like seaweed because it's this energy that's coming up and back and up and back. And as the energy will start to move, so now let's say we've got it a little bit more up and matured through our body, it'll start to work on different areas. So maybe if you have a lot of trauma in your shoulder areas, the, the shoulder will start shaking or it'll start moving or you'll start to get like a, a different, yeah, it'll start to like pulsate in funny ways that, yeah, you'll be like, what is this? But it's this energy moving and it's trying to break up a pattern somewhere in your body. And then as we continue to raise the energy up, sometimes people have this feeling of, a oneness it's a feeling of connectedness it's like the energy is finally coming all the way up and they feel this blissful you know ease that they've really never felt before so those are just a few examples of when the energy moves up maybe some different sensations that people used to have these are all ones that i used to have but there are a lot of symptoms of energy moving in the body. So some symptoms could be coughing, it could be screaming, it can be shaking, it can be crying, it can be just having all of these erratic movements that you have never had before. And this is like the Kundalini and the body's intelligence taking over. And so it might feel very strange at first. You might feel like you're being possessed or like that you're being moved by a marionette, but that's because this energy has an intelligence of its own that it's starting to move through your body to work out and clear away anything that's not yours. And through this, you're getting rid of pain. You're getting, your posture is getting better. Your, your body is getting clearer. Your energy field's getting way clearer. You're starting to vibrate at a much higher level when you're starting to experience these things. But don't be alarmed. Like really, if you're starting to get, if you start to do Kundalini and you feel like it starts to get activated through Kundalini yoga, through breath work, through dance, really try to allow it to move and to get out of the way of this energy moving. So really just, just try to be the observer and just allow the body to start to shake or to move. Um, and when you start practicing or when you start um, working with Kundalini energy, there's definitely a, a maturation that happens. So as I said, first you might start just to get these subtle pressure points or these movements. Like then I feel like once the energy starts to come up more, then the body starts to get more jerky and you'll start to have these jerky movements when the energy gets activated. And then the phase I'm at now is that I get movements, but it's very much more like watery, flowy movements that happen through the body. Like I feel there's been a lot that has been purged out in the two years that I've been working with it. And now I can, the, the energy flows a lot more simplistically through my body. And then I think even more advanced, which I'm not at that stage yet, but even more advanced, 
they don't really get any physical sensations of energy. They are in kind of a more blissful oneness that it's a much more internal experience of when they're starting to move kundalini energy in their body. It's not that the body's flailing out coming in different places. So allowing this energy to move in the body is being on a journey of your body becoming more pure and more clear. So really, if you're starting to feel these funky things and being like, is this normal? It's probably normal. Like every person has their, their body has their own thing that it's going to go into. And it's the body's intelligence that takes over and that's moving this energy through the body. And there's a lot of things that you feel from kundalini from the energy that maybe aren't even physical like you'll start to feel more clarity of mind you'll start to feel more confident in yourself you'll start to feel more empowerment you'll start to feel more clear about who you are because when we start to allow and shed the layers of all of these things that aren't ours we start to become a more bright and a more blissful human being so if you want to learn more about how to work with this energy and work with it on your own I have a kundalini yoga course that is everything that you need to know to get started with a kundalini practice. So we go through all of the fundamentals, all of the basics, the most common practices, and I break them down with a lot of specificity so that you feel really supported and you feel like really held in this practice, like you know what you're doing. So after we go through and we teach all of the fundamentals, I give you an option of five daily practices to start because really your life is built in your daily practices and you're going to get the most transformation from having a strong daily practice. So I have five options with different time limits on that. Um, and then there's a toolbox of all of these different meditations, pranayamas, um, and mantras to use to integrate into any of your own spiritual practices. So if you would like more information on that, you can check out the link below. Thank you for sharing. You can put in the comments as well if you've had any kundalini sensations or kundalini experiences happening. Really, it's a super fun journey to be on because as you start to work with this energy, the movements will start to change, your body starts to change, and it's a really just exciting, fun, wild exploration to start to work with this energy.